Professor Julia Steinberger, a professor of climate change at Lausanne University in Switzerland, asked, I really need everyone to tell me how Israel destroying the mosques in Gaza is somehow different than Germany destroying the synagogues during Kristallnacht. Well, Professor, I don't have a degree in climate change, but I do have a degree in mountain climbers from the U.S. Army Infantry School. So, how about we get you educated? To start, I'm pretty sure the Jews weren't launching rockets or taking hostages in their synagogues. You want to end this war, release the hostages. It really is that simple. Now, according to the LOAC, or Law of Armed Conflict, buildings like mosques are called cultural property, which gives them certain elevated protections. But cultural property must not be used for military purposes to receive special protection. So if you're using a mosque as a base or an armory, then it loses that special protection. Israel isn't blowing up these mosques for the lulls. This crate of explosives weighs 40 pounds. I ain't using it to blow up a mosque unless I absolutely have to. That thing is heavy. That's why those mosques are being blown up, Professor. If the adversary is using it as a base of operations, it becomes a lawful target.